happy Father's Day to all fathers, those who have been biological fathers, those who have been mentors, who have taught us in any way, who have accompanied us on the journey in any way. Happy, happy day. Those who were born before us, we pray for them. We pray for you too, who may be still on this earthly journey. I'm Mr. Joseph, father of the household of Bethlehem, father of the household of Nazareth. Pray for you. Pray for, you. Pray for all of us. I Praise remember to the many priests and, and fathers who have been spiritual mentors teaching us in, in the faith. Uh, we thank God for them and we pray God's blessings upon them too, and especially our own Archbishop. Jason Gordon. Happy Father's Day to all Praise fathers. God. Praise God. You know, when we reflect on Father's Day, sometimes people think only of their biological father. And they, they get a bit of a grievance around, you know, well, you know, he was, whether he was there or not there, and, and the problems with fatherhood today. But in so many ways, we're called to remember, first of all, that all fatherhood, as scripture says to us, takes its name from God the Father in heaven. Okay? And, and that name is one of love. The essence of God is love. And therefore, the, the true example of this is love. It's love that is faithful, love that is that lays on its life. And therefore, we pray for all fathers on this day. I want to secondly reflect on the way in which there are many who father us. And, and how is this possible? How is this possible? So besides those who are fathers, there, there are people who are mentors. But, but in the church, I want to speak about the way in which those who are priests or consecrated persons, whether religious or part of lay ecclesial movements, those who are brothers consecrated in their lives, they too share as fathers. Firstly, we have to remember that all of us are called to some kind of spousal, spousal reality. And what does that mean? That is an inherent call to marriage in each and every person, to give our lives fully to another. For those who marry in the world, we say they give their lives fully to someone else in this world. For those who are priests or religious or consecrated persons, they give their lives to God. And that's that spousal reality. And therefore, we all share that spousal reality of, of laying down our lives. There's that inherent call to lay down our life as gift for the other. Whether that's another person or the big one, the other that is God. Secondly then, we can speak about, in, in that sense, motherhood for the woman and fatherhood for the men and why is this so because as we see in, in the, the, the family and, and in marriage when this person gives when the husband gives his life for his wife and the wife gives her life for the husband that the fruit of their love literally is, is enfleshed in, in, in a child and that generates within them it generates them as mother and father but the church also speaks about the way in which for priests and consecrated persons they are, they share in this fatherhood and motherhood. And, and we have to keep that in mind in the way they teach the faith, in the way they help care for souls, in the way they care for the poor and for those who are dying, for those on the streets, they feed and, and all the works of mercy. In all those ways, we, we are laying down our lives for others and giving life to others, support, spiritual direction, counseling. Uh, mentoring, you know, the many ministries of the church from health care to, to the social ministry to the pastoral ministries, all the ways in which the church has a heart of God the Father that, that cares for, that cares for others. In those ways, we give life. We give life. And therefore, and, and we all know that. As we join you people, they give your life for them. They become part of, they become your children, your spiritual children. And so, when, when we think about this, it, it helps us to understand the ways in which uh, both mothers and fathers are, are, are so not just because they are our parents, but also for those who are spiritual mothers and fathers as religious, as consecrated persons, and as priests. Lastly, you know, a very short reflection on priests. And, and this, there are many writers that speak about this from, you know, past popes uh, speak about the fatherhood and they say in the priesthood. In, in the waters of baptism, bringing forth life into the church, and, and, and penance, you know, correcting, you know, and, and bringing, you know, a sense of learning to say sorry, and, and bringing a right relationship, encouraging the, the person in right, in the penitent in right relationship, and in Eucharist, feeding, you know, and, and so that, that's also a beautiful reflection on the fatherhood of priests. But let us not forget that everyone is called to give themselves 
in a spousal relationship and, and therefore that sense of marriage that's inherent laying down life for another person in marriage or for God and the church in consecrated life or priesthood and then the way in which there is a fatherhood and a motherhood that flows from that for men and for women in the whether that be in, in the marriage in the family in the children that's the fruit of their love or in priesthood and religious life consecrated life in the way in which many people God sends become part and parcel of us laying on our life and giving them life carrying helping to build the kingdom helping to realize the goodness of God in their very lives God bless you all and I thank God for the many fathers who have fathered me helped me to grow and the opportunity God has given to me to touch many people's lives and, and the people I've journeyed with being a father to them thank you for that opportunity and also we have to say sorry fathers also must say sorry for the ways in which fathers have hurt and, and we ask God's forgiveness for the pains fathers have caused others forgiveness for the ways I may have caused others pain pray for let's pray today for our fathers and pray for all of us whether that be fathers in your own family mentors or spiritual fathers God bless you